Y'all niggas got me hot. Was just that, really that was really rude. Man that said she really was sexy me. for him. No, I'm telling you, cooked but food. No. He was Massage taking the piss. Like, yeah. taking I'm, gonna the I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this now. Like, he's taking the piss. She said like, oh, I'm wearing booty shorts in the house. Like literally, grab my bottle something. He's acting like she's saying, oh, bend me over right there. Legit, if you see a girl wearing booty shorts or something like that, you like, oh, you're not gonna want to. You don't want to. Just but literally, he's walking past her like, oh. And the, the, the thing, the thing that really you. irritated me, Shoma looks so good. It was in the last episode where she stood, where he walked out, and then okay. she she went to walk out with that dress you, on so her. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just play devil's advocate. Oh my god! You didn't just want to slap the bomb she, right her there. Her bomb was so juicy. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, lose weight. Where? Now, Did you, you know see what? That? Yeah, you know that, what? That, that, that don't lose weight. Where? Like I just, I don't understand. No, no, no. I was just saying, don't talk about lose weight thing because that was a bit mad. A man telling. No. When she started Do crying, I felt so bad. No, nah, so my bad. heart cried for her. I was like, no, you I cannot tell, tell me like, As soon as, like, as he was going, I'm going, I'm going, I can see her face. She was just looking at him like, really? Are you yeah, really because let's this? not forget, we came out of a lockdown, man. Everyone gained weight in this and lockdown. Legit, I keep saying, like, as all in? these soft, all these things that you had a problem with, you could have said prior to it. Yeah. Me, personally, therapy is not my first choice because at the end of the day, we have voices. We can speak we can about speak, our problems. We can We do not need somebody there to be in the middle of us saying, oh, but this, but that. At the end of the day, day we are grown people we can yeah. speak about our problems like you telling her that she needs to lose weight you could have said that nicely in the house mm-hmm. to say on camera is yeah. disrespectful disrespectful i feel like especially with their relationship and other people as well i feel like in arguments it's like you're trying to win yeah. and exactly. it's like no 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 we were in a relationship my feelings and my like personal sense of self is what is like most important so you trying to win the argument oh but this oh but that yeah. oh coming with comebacks and this 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 is like well at the end of the day my feelings are hurt. So exactly. regardless of whether you won or not, you're not going to have me because if you won, you can win by yourself. Devil's Literally. advocate. Yeah, I said this before. Oh, Devil's no. advocate. I agree with what you're saying yeah, in terms of in terms of like um, him bringing up stuff on the camera to belittle her. I thought I was wrong. Devil's advocate. I don't agree with this, but devil's advocate. When it came to like the intimacy topic here, yes, there are people with higher sex drives and lower sex drives. Yeah. So maybe that could be an issue, yeah, of like, yo... <laughs> I don't know why you lot are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it could be an issue with like, yo, like I can't, I don't naturally have the, cap- I don't have the capacity to meet her where she's at. So maybe it's situation. Though, like, yeah, that's true. You come from but once, a, once a week is the bit like, Man, yeah. minimum, you're telling minimum. me minimum. No, when we, I, I need to, play, I need to ask play dead you live in the same house like, I, I need to understand. ask we need to ask Chioma when was the last time you got your cheeks clapped because at the end of the day it's like how are you living in the house with this man but you're not getting no, nah, that's what? mad. That's mad. And it might have she been said actually, like, Chioma. Chioma. Mom- Chioma. Chioma is sweet. You're she's looking sweet. at her, you're not even clapping. Like, nah, so sweet. But this I think right, yeah, but men don't deserve them. No, no, no but this is what I think. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this is why I think there's genuinely something wrong in the relationship. Yeah. Because for me, yeah, I know. You clap the cheeks. Yeah, man. <laughs> we blown backs out. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> anywho, anywho. No comment. I know if somebody is a like when somebody's mentally dejected from the relationship, it affects yeah. the physical side of things. So for him, I think I think there's generally something mentally not wrong, but something that he's checked out of the relationship because for you not to satisfy that's your what woman mate. in that way, yeah. it's my, like... That's what my friend was like. He's definitely banging one of the clients. 100%. But well, then again, I do... When I look at the relationships, I feel like this is literally a typical, traditional uncle and auntie relationship. 100%. Because a lot of them, literally. they get into a relationship, they like them for like a year or something. Then when they have kids... And they like, just firm it. They just firm it, yeah. Like a lot of them start cheating or a lot of them just be like, I'm staying for the kids. Yeah, I'm like, just Like that's what happens. And so yeah. what, when I ever, whenever I see Chioma and Paul, I just think, yeah, this is like, this an is auntie and uncle you find in church. Yeah. Then do we, yeah, have to change the conversations we're having about getting into relationships because we're seeing typical auntie and relate uncle auntie aunt relationships where I've like, told you I want the man to provide I'm gonna provide for no, my woman but I'm telling that's you, not enough right now. I'm, I'm telling you cut it. in this day and age you are not asking for the man to provide. It's equal. I'm telling you right I now. I think she can provide her own money. In this day and in twenty twenty one there is a very 
small minuscule amount of females who are like, you need to take care of me and I'm exactly. just going to sit here. Well, you no, think that? No, no, because look at us. It's very small. They're very small, but they're very vocal though. They're, they're, li- they're, they're very, very vocal. The thing, you, they're Sweet very vocal, are? so you think that there's a lot of them, but majority of us girls, we're getting our own money. I don't exactly. need you. 100%. Women, 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 <laughs> women, I want to be a princess. <laughs> I mean, no, the truth. No, 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 no. You can be a princess. No, the thing is, you can be a princess, but at the same time, you can still provide for yourself. What we're saying is like, there's girls that are out there that want to just be treated like a queen. They want to just do the, the bare minimum. No, no, no. And then they want to do this, do this, do that. But it wasn't a what but thing I'm you say- were saying. Deborah no, but I'm saying warning. is that right now, we're in a society and we're in a day and age where people are actually working equal rights right now. Even if there's not equal rights, as people will say, People are still working at the same no, pace as everybody saying, else. So like, women, they're making more money than men. Yeah. Men, they can be making more money women than women. Women are more women, educated than men at this point. Together. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of women are making are trying to work harder because they because we've seen what happens when we don't. No, hundred percent. And the thing is, I'm saying right now, I stand for the women's rights. Stand for us. Hundred percent. I love the women. women. What? Because you know what? No, because the, when you deep it, a lot of women's. I like the like. I'm just saying this right now. Women, they are the best creatives all ever. Women, yeah. For the cre- all women, the creative. You know, I'm talking about the white women, isn't it? <laughs> so, ah! like, I got the white <laughs> Black Lives Matter podcast. I'm joking, the, I'm joking. the white. Egg. No, but I'm saying right now is like women. <laughs> when when a lot of the movies, TV shows I've seen, women are dominating. They're dominating. Right they're, doing their Ava, work, they're doing their thing. Dominating. Like I'm just saying this. Like. A lot of people are working at equal rights right now. I'm saying in relationships, people are going to be equal now. So is the when it comes to people thinking about when it comes to men thinking about ah oh, you're earning too much than me ah oh, I'm the breadwinner I'm I need to be more powerful than you. It comes to ego. Yeah, and lots of people have high. ego. And the thing 100%. is, people don't understand that your parents play a big part in your life. So when biggest. like when you get into relationships, mm. the characteristics you get from your father is in your relationship. Because a lot of people they do not want to believe, but you do get your characteristics from your parents. Learn behavior. Like you, these are your parents, your Bendera. genes, everything. One hundred percent. You get it. so you'll be thinking, why do I act like this? Then you deep it. You look at your parents. Damn, why does my dad act like that? And you're like, oh, I got it from him. Mm. You need to understand, you can break these stuff. Yes. You can literally break these stuff. what Chris Brown said in his song? What did you say? Like, when he said, I forgot the lyrics, can't lie. But it was in his song, um, Champion. Oh, yeah. When he I'm said that, he, like, the reason why, like, maybe is it because of his dad? But see, that's the thing. People mom. don't understand oh, that yeah, your parents yeah. play a Mold big you, part in your life. But at the same time, yeah, I hear what you're saying and I agree with you. Yeah. But we're personal responsibility has to become a factor in this I equation. hear it, so but it takes it take, it take a lot it out of somebody. A lot, yeah, but and a lot of, um, like, own But it own takes your own self-development. Do you, do you know how hard that shit is? Mm. My, Imagine being brought up. That's, that's your, your primary learning stage ages is what you're learned. What you learn, in it? So, like, from the from two years old to what's called so at sixteen, yeah. And this is what I'm being taught. This yeah. is all. This is all I know. Yeah. It takes a lot of psychological treatment to them come break that whole 100%. chain. Like, it's a very, 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 very hard. Like work on yourself. No, but that's that's like, but it's, it's even hard to even see that you are doing wrong. Like, yeah. some people don't even know that then they're wrong a lot. Like, you can argue with someone, they'd be like, "Nah, I'm definitely right." No, you're you're psychologically see? fucked up. Mm-hmm. For me, yeah, when it, like I said with Jason, it's like. For me, when it comes to this dating thing, it's like, listen, a lot of the times that we romanticize, a lot of the time I see on Twitter, we romanticize the past. Mm-hmm. Why can't I have that 90s love? Why can't I have that 70s love? Oh, Every you day. don't they know. Each other up. They were, it's just, I it's turned the was it's, beating, it's song, up, they were beating each other up. Man. Man. In the 70s, everybody was It was toxic masculinity wow. galore. And the thing is, it's Tina like, Turner. Do you know what I'm saying? I Turner was beating her up. Like, boy. I let me to laugh. I didn't smile. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's like we romanticize Sorry. the past to the point where we don't understand like what it there took for really those toxic fam. I've seen aunties it's the music, suffer. That's why. I've seen it's aunties the music. suffer. Mm. Mm. Aunties have been in situations where they know their man is cheating on them, left, right, and the center. But for the sake of as a woman, I have to affirm it. No, but no. you know what? I don't even think it's as, as a, woman. a woman because a lot of aunties that I've seen, they stay in these relationships because they're children. They do not want a dysfunctional family. That's the yeah. thing. They or stay I, in this relationship like, for their like children. It's, it's the, and divorce is seen as very like. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like divorce, when it, I feel sorry for them because at the, at the same time, like when we grew up, we saw aunties that were in relationships. We knew the uncle was cheating. Yeah, yeah. we knew he was cheating on them. But it's like they stayed in this relationship for their children, and because divorce in Christianity is so bad. Cheating. You cannot I hear what it. you're saying, but, but I feel now like women have it harder when it comes to see, that old mentality. Yeah, it's like cool. Let's say if you reverse situation, if our if our auntie was cheating on the uncle, the uncle will leave her. 
Do you know what I'm saying? The yeah, uncle definitely. will leave her. But I feel like when it comes for to... For a younger women, girl. Yeah. When it comes to women, yeah, especially when it comes to old... I could speak for African. When it comes to old traditional, traditional African uh, mentalities, it's like, listen... Your man could do whatever. You have to affirm it for the kids. But now, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like we're in a society where, listen, women are earning more. Women are educated. Women are providing, like, genuine value to society in terms of economics and stuff like that. So, basically, we're saying that, listen, them old mentalities that you had in the past mm-hmm. can't be applicable today. Found but on the opposite... 2021. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, it's like, now, you're yeah, with a new society. The way certain aunties were treated, I can't lie, girls... You can't. You don't want to aspire to that because you don't, you don't know what that comes with. But yes, see, this uncles, is, uncles took care of everything. We don't know what uncle did mm. in the background. But so see. you have to figure out a lane that works for you. Yeah. Where so, it's like, yo, okay, I want a relationship. I'm earning a certain much. My partner's earning a certain much. How can we build instead see, of like one person covering the front? Well, this is the bro. thing. A lot of people get into relationships and they just see competition. I do not understand. I cannot get into a relationship and be like, oh, my partner is earning more than me. Mm. Oh, that's going to piss me off. Why would I be angry at that? Who does that? Because like a lot, a lot of people, not a lot of men, they think like that. Men, their, men, partner, men. their partner is earning more than them. And they're like, hmm, be happy no, that's for them. wrong. Are you mad? You're bringing money into this family and you're telling me that's wrong. And me personally, I do not understand that. Okay. You cannot tell me that, oh, is normal to think my partner's earning more than me. I'm not. I'm not happy. You need to leave that job. I finished watching Desperate Housewives and I was deep in it. Lynette, she was earning more than her husband. How many times? But she kept on sacrificing herself because she had children and making him be the breadwinner. Mm. But it's like, and he got to a point where he's like, nah. that happens a lot. Happens yeah. Like happens he got to a point where on one of the neighbors, who's an old neighbor, he used to be a soldier. He was saying, hmm. But this didn't happen in our time. Like, a man should be the breadwinner. But I'm Things like, change. why do you still have that mentality? Things change. Like, legit, Things when you, like, when I go back to Christianity, I'm like, Adam and Eve, they were both equal. I'm going to say that right now. They were both equal. But there why is it that, when God created Literally. Them. So, so why is it now that everybody's feeling that man has to be earning people, this? Man. The woman has to be earning less. It's the woman has to be too. doing this. Women. Why is it so much? Like, deep in... The woman has to carry a baby for nine months, up to nine months. The woman has to look after the child. The woman has to cook and clean before you come home. Me personally, if my wife come, if I come home and my wife is cooking in the kitchen, I feel like nah, that's bad man of me. Because even though I had a long day, we can have equal jobs in the house. Mm. Like I, you do not, like when I watch my mom, she comes home, she um she cooks, she cleans, she does this, she does that. I'm like... Well, we can actually help her. My thing is, yeah. I just don't understand that stuff. Like the whole, the whole, what do you call it? The man m- makes the money. The woman has to do this. It Please it leave that in two. Leave that in the two thousands. We are in twenty twenty one. We need to understand that there are people out here. There are relationships out there. The woman is earning more than a man, and we have to deal with it because they're acting fine. like the woman is putting the money into her account. Sometimes it goes into the saving. 100%. Remember, you have children that you have to think of. You're in a relationship for the long run. 100%. And the thing is, yeah, like, we have to, like, like, as she said it, like, patriarchy doesn't benefit anybody. It doesn't benefit anybody. Because, anyone. let me tell you, because, let, because, because I know man them, yeah, killing themselves to maintain this social standard of, I must, pre- no, like, you're, like, the thing is, yeah, you providing for, let's say if you, you meet a girl, she's like, listen, I want a man to do this, I want a man to do that. If it comes at the expense of your own happiness and your own freedom, don't do it, man. Then, like, it's not by force here. You have to live to a standard that you can't achieve. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to find what works for you. There are some women out there, do you know what, who want to date a man that takes care of everything, and that's for you. I can't, I can't tell them how to live their life, but I know what happened, what works for me, and mm-hmm. what works for me is I understand the society we live in, bro. I've met so many women that are educated that make money. That is dumb for me to come and say, yo, when I date you, I'm taking over everything. It doesn't make sense. I would rather in a situation for me where I meet a girl, she's educated, I'm educated. We build something together. We we put all of our assets into one situation and we build together. That's fine for me. If that don't work for most girls out there, shout out to them. But a lot of girls, from my perspective, are trying to take old traditional values and combine it with a modern world. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it can work sometimes, but I'm so sorry. The old traditional man you wanted comes with a lot of drawbacks. Mm. Comes with a lot. It comes with shut up and make me food. 
It, it, that's the reality. It comes with Ooh. shut up and make me food. Ooh. It comes with the woman's place in the kitchen. A man was to ever. Do you know what I'm saying? But no. there, are a lot, there are a lot of men them like that. Yeah, but some guys do that even now, like without the whole they patriarch. They exactly. Kind of, they, do. they can go suck a dick. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I'm not making you food. Don't call me like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not just some It's the whole, shut thing, up. You know, the whole uni uh, wife thing. I just think of it. I'm like, Oh, listen to our uni wife because. How can I call your yeah. uni wife? Child. I'm saying, if they call your uni wife, you have to poison their food. 100%. You 100%. have to poison hey, their food. Because they're wife. taking their piss. Absolutely not. No, sorry. But right, can poisoning. we talk about him training the ex, please? Because yeah, no, because people say so much. Are you mad? I didn't no. see what Twitter Never. said, but no, because people Never. say so much that oh no, we're not like our parents. We're not like these uncles and aunties that we see in church. You we are you literally you are. Are. We are you are you are you're actually perpetuating the same story. Literally, but we literally are. You are molding yourself into one of them uncles in church. One million Just percent. Funny. Just like, sit down, be lazy, and expect the woman to help you. Do you remember when we was younger? Yeah, we'd be like, no, I don't really like our parents. And you now are. I swear yeah, to you, I'm, you I'm, I'm my little sister. Yeah, cushion up my child. Yeah, but I swear to you, I'm saying the same shit as my mom said to me when I was younger. Oh, I'm not your little friends, you know. I said this to my little brother. I'm like, excuse me, me and you are not size. I like, I'm not my god, I'm to my mom. <laughs> no, but the thing is, yeah, we have to understand, yeah, is that you see, with the old, we like to glamorize your yeah, age as equates to wisdom. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't because the same way, yeah, we're at the age we're at now, our aunties, uncles, our parents were here too. They were. They had the same level of ignorance as us. So. I'm not saying, listen, there are people that are going to perpetuate this out and I'm not perfect, but we have to look at, sometimes look at what the older generation did, right and wrong, and learn from it. That's the only thing we can do. Mm. And we're going to make mistakes. Mistakes will happen. You will fuck up in your life, but it's how you recover from that mistake and it's how you take the information that was bestowed upon you and apply it to your life. When it comes to this dating thing, we like to romanticize the older generation so much to the point where, listen, that... The older generation stuff, it worked for them. It might not have worked for them, but it's not going to work for us today. Mm-hmm. And we have to understand that one as we're going forward. Listen, what worked for them, that's them. I'm who I am. I require this, 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 and this. If I can't find somebody that meets me there, I can't be in the situation. I can't change someone. I can't find a girl who conducts herself a certain way when I met her, and then when she's with me, she needs to change. No, I wifed her because she, because of who she is. And I'm going to expect her to continue being who she is. That's it. Period. Do you know what I'm saying? Period. But yeah, go back to the... But um, yes. Him Please. training that out when I tell you, right? When he said that, I said, huh? Ne- ne- uh, the same woman you see naked? Never. <laughs> never. So never. You know, she knows she had these squats now. Never. Never. No. Never. Never. I don't understand how he, how he thinks that's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just so confused. As if there's not a bare person in this world. Ex is okay. Okay, no, like, sorry, what? no, no. Even the thing is, my sister watched it with my mom, and she was thinking when when she heard the training with X, my mom was like, "Pardon, <laughs> why are you training with your ex?" I don't understand. Me this. personally, never. No, you can't. can't. No, when you deep never. it, it's like there's other trainers out there. You can't even say so oh, it's because of pricing all oh, that rubbish. Your mouth, Please, man. there was a million. And one you training your ex, you're Find taking them. the piss. You're taking the piss. Take yeah, the piss. Is, you see with this X culture, yeah, maybe it's just me. I don't understand people who have consistent communication with their ex. You don't need their ex I don't for a reason. I don't understand. Like, literally, I understand being cordial, you know, being yeah. civil and being like communicating with that person. I can't lie. To me, it sounds like spiritual bondage. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, sorry, I'm seeing the bad dad saying, yeah, but for me, yeah, it's like, cool. <laughs> Are you still communicating with your exes, Let's Ashley? Talk about, let's talk about hey! me. Let's talk about somebody else. Hey, hey, yeah. You girls, do better. We're going to talk about... Are you, you do are you still con- no, no, let me say this. Are you still communicating with your exes? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, no, that not this. What do you right. mean, my ex? Like, it's you ex, ex, your ex, like, like boyfriend ex. ex. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. I'm wait. not in, we don't speak every day. Oh, but God. we're cordial, innit? We're cordial. Like when I see no, it, when okay. I see him, it's cool. Like, no, I understand. Cool, but if he has a new girl, so that's cool. If you ended up on a good terms, I don't see the problem with yeah. speaking that's to your right. ex. That's Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, but, but, but for me, there needs to be a degree of separation. For me, yeah, it's like cool. If somebody's an an ex partner of mine or somebody I used to deal with, cool. Like we can be fine. If it's my birthday, I shout you your happy birthday. Punch I wish you nothing but the best. If there's a successful milestone in your life, yo, I'm happy you achieved that. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for That's me, it. but for me, it's where it becomes an issue. It's like 
Why are you in constant communication with this person? No. No Why is this person still a factor in your life to the point where you're communicating them on a consistent basis? It doesn't make sense to me because they are an ex. There's somebody who used to be a part of your life, but for whatever reason, they're not a part of your equation anymore. For me, that doesn't make sense because you're not my friend. I have a but separate... You're you not my friend. Him were friends before, so that's what... Difficult. Okay, I can only speak for me. But well, I'm not yeah. speaking. I'm not talking myself. I can only speak for me. <laughs> for me, yeah, I yeah, draw yeah, a man. line between. Okay, cool. Me and you, we're cool, we're friendly, but I know going forward, this relationship is not sustainable. Yeah. I'm not going to your house to train you. That is, that is not. That is mad. And as your as that the is new girl, mad. that should never be allowed. But for me, yeah, there's like, these be a degree of separation when it comes to like. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not because for. Aunt, when I look at relationships, like what what are you what role are you playing in my life? Yeah. Because you are my ex. You cannot play the friend role. As much as we like to pretend and say, yeah, we're fr- we're not friends. Because I can guarantee if she was doing something with her ex, he would not have it. I can, I can guarantee hundred percent he would not have it. Because see how he was saying that she can't go to affirmation, but he was gonna go. Oh, he was see, a surprise. Nah, he's the cheeky. Mouth, he's but cheeky he's still. Sorry. 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 But the affirmation things don't make sense to me. I'm saying if you're in a relationship with someone, of course you're going to trust them. Yeah. Yes, there was madness that, happening in that affirmation. Allow was very rude. Exactly. Allow was rude. That, that, no, that both allow parties. Is, allow was legit. Yes. When my mom watched it and she heard the allow, she was thinking, Padding. I allow. Padding? What do you mean allow, allow someone to do something? Are you their mom? You're not Are you their dad? Allow. No, but the thing is, when you're in a relationship, you cannot be out here not trusting someone. This is the thing. Whenever I see these problems happening, I'm just like... You guys shouldn't be in a relationship. If you can't trust them on a simple affination trip, affination for a music festival, you can't trust them. You're not supposed to be in a a relationship. Because me personally, legit. No, but the thing is, you're saying that, 2019. Obviously, sometimes you want to go with the girls, but if you don't trust them, then just go with them and bring your boys. No, but the thing is, I will have trust in my partner because 2019, yes, you said it was mad. mad, But at the same time, you're in a relationship right now. You should trust them. It was like, no, I'm sorry. Is, it was mad, yeah, but I didn't see it. But it was mad. That's the thing. Yes, and and everyone snapped. Some people everyone said it was snapped. Mad. I didn't other see other it. Some people said it was great. Some people said it was mad. And other people said it was That's good. That's what I'm saying. Right. This, way. So, I don't, this not, is the thing. You're not getting into relationships with people you trust. You're getting into relationships with people that you just find attractive. Yeah. And then you're finding That's different problems along the line. Because you solely got into a relationship because they're attractive. You didn't get into a relationship because you found someone that was compatible with you. Yeah, yeah. You having a problem... On Afro Nation, a simple thing like that. Do you I would tell any my partner, I would tell them, go Afro Nation is fun. It's not Live your deep. life. It was not why, that deep. why would I be That's thinking if you're gonna, oh, cheat, gonna cheat on me? You're gonna do it in Peckham. Yeah. If you really if you it really is, is thank you, you, you can cheat anywhere. Afro Nation is not a thing like that, you know. Like Peckham right, you'll be out there getting your cheese And the thing is, as a partner, yeah, like let's say if I knew like if I knew my partner yeah was uncomfortable with that. for example, let's say I'm going Afro Nation, right? Cool. <laughs> this girl's like, let's say I'm going to Afro was I told like, my partner, hey, listen, what? Afro Nation. Excuse me? Right? I told yeah. my partner to trust me. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, for me, if I know I'm going to Afro Nation and all the mad them are single, and I know all my boys are going to be on madness, mm-hmm. I don't want to be a fool fool. So I'm going to be like, do you know what? Louder. No, but for you me, no, that's what I'm saying. You can still well, go. Oh, for me, personally, it person would be like, louder, or oh, let me bring my girl. Yeah. It depends on the environment. Yeah, you, but guys I feel, are, you guys are so dramatic, no, fam. Yeah. I'm an Afro Nation. I was talking to somebody. They messaged me about all the shit. I was with all single people. They all had fun. Don't get me wrong. Like, I was snapping them, twerking and shit on See? guys. I didn't do jack shit. No, I was happy no, 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 I, but this is the thing. No, but this is the thing. It's all about self control. Me personally, I have self control. If I have a relationship that I'm in and I have somebody back home that is waiting on me, no, facts. why would I cheat on it? This is the thing. Me personally, I've never understood cheating. I've never understood it. You're in a relationship where you're cheating on someone. Surely you have found the person that you're compatible you're happy, with. Then you that can you can just leave. Them. Legit, but because if you want to make, cheat, leave. leave. No, just because leave. do you know how people cheat? You're taking the piss. Do you know how, do you know how people cheat? The people, no, people value yeah their own personal gratification over the relationship. They want to have their cake themselves. and eat it too. That's what they want. You see, you see people. When people say, oh, it was a mis- it wasn't a mistake." You knew what exactly what you that were doing. That word pisses me off. It's not a mistake. You, you didn't mistakenly put your dick. Do you know what I'm you. saying? You did that with your whole chest. Legit. I'm sorry, you didn't mistakenly just slip. Do it you not tell job. me oh, I was intoxicated. It wasn't a mistake because you understand it. Yeah, because Go even fam. Because if you know you're somebody that does something wild when you're drunk, here, you're gonna put you're gonna prevent that from yeah. happening. 
You see, you think about cheating. Cheating is a choice. Yeah. A you choice. made a choice. You made the however many minutes of pampana. You you took that over our relationship. You took that over our relationship. Yeah. So for me, yeah, it's like cheating is not a mistake. You made a choice. Made a choice. Yeah. Now you have to live with the consequences Legit. of that Facts. choice. You literally, Facts. you literally have to. I, me personally, I've never understood cheating, I, and I will never understand it never. because if I'm in a relationship with somebody, never. I'm going to show them that I love them. 100%. I'm going to show them that I'm there for them. Yeah. Me, but if I see something that I like, maybe something that I'm attracted to, I'll be like, okay, cool, they're cute. But am I going to go and cheat with them? No, no. it takes because like, I have somebody back home. And the thing is, there's no the thing. Is, there's no justification. Justification. We feel for it. Wow, spillage. So there's that. There's that. Jesus. Not my trainers. No, you didn't get on the trainers. It definitely did. Not on the trainers. Not on the Jeez. trainers. Jesus, yakking, but yakking. But anyways, for me, when it comes to I think we need to put it down now. Yeah. Um, there's no more anyway. He finished it. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, when it comes to cheat, there's no just justification for cheating because it's like, listen, because a lot of people like to say, oh, but I wasn't getting love and... Then um, open your mouth and communicate to your Open your, your mouth and communicate or if it's that bad, leave, leave. then do your thing. My thing is, is that you want to cheat on this person and come back to the same bed that that person is in. Do you, can you deep the level of disrespect? Yeah. Somebody has come fresh home from cheating and coming to sleep in your bed That's and waking up I in the morning pretending like it's, ma- it's a violation. This see, is what I tell, I I tell <laughs> men, women, especially women, because the reason I tell women is because you see in society, I feel like women have been done dirty. Yeah. Mm, women have been done dirty in this aspect. A lot of women have been turned told to firm it mm. oh if your man cheats firm it no don't firm yeah, it right like, on it die if he cheats on you like, I believe in respectable cheating if you respectable. do it at least don't let me don't let me find out don't do that you out I, of your don't do that because mind. if you are loud because yes. it's like that guy's song in it like um, if you do that don't let me know um, yeah. I don't <laughs> wanna know if you're playing me, keep it on because the you know low. you know someone so deeply, yeah, and you just you, you can't take it. it. I'm I know, telling you right now. I understand what she said though. Like obviously what she said, man, didn't it? But she's it's, it's kind of like saying like, oh, if you're gonna cheat and do it in my face, you know how rude that is. Like you're doing it on purpose so but I can see that shit. Yeah. And then if you tell that to a man, he will cheat on you. Yeah, I know he will. You're but it's just like you're giving him a free pass. I have told you people. You're basically telling him cheat and be good at it. I have told you people. No, cheating will never make sense to me. It won't. It won't. It won't. But I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, but. Imagine now, like, basically, she's saying it's like almost like an embarrassment thing. Okay. Like, it's emba- like if you're gonna cheat on me, don't get caught. Yeah, okay. I like, get that. you wanna embarrass me and, At like, least, I rather, yeah. I rather me find out by myself, but then you wanna let everyone else know before me. Yeah. And I look like with the biggest dickhead in this world. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll that, get that I understand. So I that's what. That's that. how I. When she said that, but I, I took it that. in that but way. But keep that to yourself in no. your mind. Don't, don't come and tell your man. Yeah, you can cheat. But the problem is, because that. then they will just go and cheat. They will just go and cheat. You can't and say just, it to your man. I get that. But I'm just saying. Well. Remember, you're not a dickhead. You know, in this life, we're not a prick. But the thing is about the thing is about the cheating thing. Yeah, it's like cool. We like cheating. Yeah, should never be considered. You know, people say we had ups and downs relationships. Cheating was ups and downs. Cheating is not up and down. You cheating, know, no, cheating no. is a violation yeah, no. of the agreement of you the made. Because when highest. I'm with somebody, yeah, I swear a part of the a part of the agreement is I swear loyalty to them. I swear that listen, I'm gonna do right by you. I'm gonna respect you and I'm gonna be loyal to you. Cheating is a direct violation. I don't care how long you've been together. That person prioritizes 30 minutes of sex over your entire I relationship. Saying, no. They do not respect you. No, hey. They do not respect your relationship. They don't. They don't. So for in that so in that scenario, men, women, if somebody violates your relationship like that, you should not be in it. No, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Cheating, let me say that. It is not a part of your up and downs of relationships. It's not a part of it. You people that be saying, oh, we have up and downs in relationships. Cheating is not a part of it. Up and downs is like miscommunication. Thank you. Up and downs is like, okay, cool. You get to a point where you're like, yeah, you kind of get the ick. lost our job and we're having financial yeah. problems. That's Literally, up and down. That's up and downs. Cheating is not up and down. Like, Can you cheating? Like, like, leave the house right now. Let me illustrate, yeah, how no, bad cheating is. You're taking the piss. I'm telling you right now, you will be taking the piss if you say that cheating is up and down. I don't get people that have that mentality. Why do you need to cheat? Your head is. 
You met you met Twitter. somebody. Twitter. You oh. met somebody. Twitter. This is the thing. Twitter is the most stupidest app I've ever met. Don't take it seriously. Wait. If you meet somebody that you love, you cherish, you want to get to know them, and you start cheating, it's you're silly. telling me that's up and down. It's Are not. you mad? Get out my house, man. The bad up and down. Listen. Go back to your council flat. Council flat. Yes. Let me illustrate. Go back to your council flat right now. Let, let me illustrate, let me illustrate for the ladies, yeah, what cheating is. And I'm going to illustrate for the man them later. Well, cheating is this. Your man, you trust your man to go to the club, yeah? Yeah. You trust him. He's at the club. He sees a girl at the club. Fuck he it. chooses, key word, chooses to move to that girl knowing you're at home. I don't get he don't that. care about that. Cool. Now, yeah, yes. Now, yeah, he's moved to that girl. He's messaging that girl whether you're there or not. She's messaging that girl saying, Yeah, I want to link you, knowing he has you at home. Then he goes to that girl's yard. He can still turn back around and say, Nah, I've got a girl at home. He says, Nah, F that. He chooses to do what kind of chicanery would that girl? Wow, knowing while you're there and you want to forgive my man for doing that to you, man, them. Let me reverse it. Man, them, your girl, you trust her to go to wherever she's going to. A man then moves to her. She, she says, allows it. Yeah, she allows, she gives her phone and says, no. yes. The man then says, can I come through to yours or can no. we link here? She says, no. yes. No. Man says, I want to come to your house one-on-one. -on -one. She says, yes. Are you mad? Ma Consent is important. When two people no are engaging in sex, she, she says, said, yes. Yes. Are and you mad? You, and, you, and you want to consider that regular up and downs of a relationship? No. That person, man or woman, does not respect you at all. In the slightest. At and that's all. another thing. Cheating isn't just sex. Cheating it's is a whole. It's a commitment. Load. Flirting, it's a everything. Commitment. Just because, oh, like, oh, it was just a kiss. Oh, it was just this. Oh, it was just a whatever. No. It's no, 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 everything. sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe this is just me, but anything you can't do in front of my... I wouldn't say it's cheating, but anything you can't do in front of my face, that's disrespect. And it's a violation. I'm so sorry. If you if you can chat to that girl in my face, mm -hmm. then we have a serious problem. Tell them, please. One million percent. You, no, let me just tell you this right now before we um, go on to the next topic. You're taking the piss. <laughs> 100%. You are taking the piss. Living if you cheat piss. on me... After you said I was the one for you, ah! you're taking the piss. After how many Valentine's no. days no. we've spent together? I might have to go no. crazy and key your car. I might have to. Because, no, no, because please. what? I'm telling you, all you people, all you, people, all you girls that get cheated on, key the, the man's the car. car. If, if they have a car, car, if they have a door, if they have a door, a union come, key the door. I'm telling you right wait, now, wait, wait, because wait, you wait, wait, deserve more. Wait, 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 People can be like, you see, she's, she's crazy. crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? They love yeah, doing yeah. that. No, 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 no. They but love the doing that. Is, no, 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 no. Don't allow not women. Don't allow man to let you act outside your character. You that's true. No, no, no. That's in my character, hundred percent. And I'm letting you know beforehand. If you cheat on me, I'm keying your car and I'm busting your window. Literally, because yeah. yo, you need okay. respect. Okay. You can't I'm disrespect you know, somebody like that. No, you. you I'm telling you right now. You know cheating on somebody. My thing is, yeah, cheating no, no. on someone is not respect. My man's a dickhead for cheating you, hundred percent. But your life here, yeah, you can't compromise who you are and your happiness for the sake of no, pain, no, that will make me revenge. happy. That will make me happy. You think? Keen, your no. absolutely. Actually, no, you won't. No, I should do it. Part, I will walk away happier than I will help you. you. you I will help you. Yeah, but you it won't. I will help it you. It won't do take it. away the fact that my man is in the window. Nah, you don't need to do wait and take home moment when she burns his car. No, do you know what? No, 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 no. Do you know what will make you? Do you know what will make what will burn? Listen, people in life, I've said this before, the worst thing you, you can do to someone is Be ignore successful. them. Oh. No, no, no. You see, and, and success. You see people, yeah? I'm telling you, you ignore somebody or, or you or you pretend that they don't have an impact in your life. It's over. You yeah. move on with your life. You yeah, move but forward. I can't, I can't pretend you didn't have an impact in my life because you did. Yeah. You, I hear what you're saying. You, I hear what you're saying. Of course you had an impact in my they life. Did, no, they did. And I need to let you know no, how no, no, much no. you pissed actually, me off. Actually, they did. But 100%. their impact in your life doesn't affect your overall happiness. Yeah. So if yeah. you're able yeah. to, you know, if you're able, yeah, to go from that situation and go achieve greater Absolutely. things, happiness, relationship, mm. that's going to burn them because it's going to be that raw. Of course. I, I will do like... that anchor your car. Let me just say something, guys. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> if any of my exes see this, just know I stopped caring. 
I actually don't care. Like, I'm at peace with myself. Peace! And I will be successful in this life. Peace! You know that when you're peace. And I know you're burning this life. Rise that peace at herself, you know. Period. Let them know. Tell them. I'm elevated. Every time, I feel like every time something happens, yeah, I just elevate. Oh! Period. Like, you will not catch me down. Talk dirty. Only way to go is up. Talk. She's elevated. Talk let me not. No, nah, let me let, let me tell you something for Shona. You Tell know, huh? Shona ain't got time for you, broke niggas. Period. Yeah, let me tell Are you, you something. Are you seeing the way she's looking? Are right. you seeing this? Are you right. seeing the wig? Right. You don't even know his wig. Yeah. <laughs> she's looking sweet, you know. Elevation. So don't even try and chat yeah. to her like that. You Any get me? Sangala, hangala, hi, man, don't know to chat to Madame Any... Shona. You better think again. Respect. And, and you, let me tell you something for Ashley as well. Don't that come a test of patience right come now. Come with a correct CV. Because CV's CV. coming out here with a 90s baddest. Yeah? Let me and you that. see Mr. Jason, yeah? My Any God. girl that wants to play with him, what? you know what I'm saying? Don't play what? with what? Jason. What? Nah, Jason nah. gonna cheat you better than any, any man could. You man, see what I'm saying? Man, man's Archie, you get me, man? You know what I'm saying? I'll keep your car. You know what I'm saying? Understand who Mr. Jason is. Book a Trivago, I'll be there. This is about Mr. Saying. Sweet Talker Noah. Trust me, Mr. Poet. <laughs> Man, I'm too sweet to be blood talk. Man, I'm not too what? sweet to be <laughs> sour. Let's not forget, ladies. Let me tell you something. Everybody on this podcast. Sis, I'm, I'm shifting your wig. How about that? Fam. Okay. I'll shift your wig. Remove it. Anybody listen, 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 listen. What we understand is oh you see God. the members of the rare podcast, you can't take them for idiot. No. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't take all. them for idiot. At Change all. Change the accent still. Change the accent. Wait, back to English. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, you're a bad man. You're, you're, bad, man. you're a bad man. You're, you're acting bad like an Trust me. Nah, I'll, I'll give it that, but... You can't take them for idiot. Okay. You're yeah. acting like our accents aren't good. So everyone who's done us wrong and dirty, I wish you got the best in life. And honestly... I hope yeah, you guys. I hope, I hope you, you guys I hope get flawed. You, you, you succeed in life, hundred percent. What? No, I hope they get flawed. What? what Why am I wishing the best? Because at the end of the day, no, we, we are God's favorites. Everybody that's done me wrong in life, yo, today God you will get flawed. You. Amen. God will punish you. Oh, amen. God will flog you, real. Mm. Oxford Street, Oaken Road, High Street of Oaken Road. You will get flogged on that bridge. Wait, what? Why? It's I'm so telling specific. you right now, you will get flogged. Okay, Road, I want everybody to see it. He's doing somebody specific. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah, beefing man. you right now. I'm beefing on you right now. Yeah, life. man. On that bombshell. Fam, she left me. She she, she lives so far, you know. I'm so upset. <laughs> on that bombshell. Why she lives so far? I don't know, Jason. And she stopped talking to me as well. Jason? Jason? Is she white? <laughs> no, nah, she's black. Actually. Oh, shock. It's Imagine. a shock. Oh, wow. She's black, guys. Girl, we have this conversation. So, why, why do you think I'm waiting for white people now? Oh! <laughs> wow, let's not even. We're going to touch that. I'm on joking. Episode, but yeah. It's been the episode. It's been the great episode of the Rare Podcast. The, the yak has been yakking this Bro. whole episode. Clearly, Jason's been hit. Yeah, he's been hit. <laughs> he's hit, been hit. hit. The yak has flogged me right now, you know. Yeah, this has been the episode of the Rare Podcast. Everyone plug themselves, Instas, Twitters. Be at like the bottom, that. guys. Start with Ashley. Oh, yeah, my Insta is Ashley.Rene underscore. And then my Twitter is Ashley X Rene. It'll think. be right there. Something like that. It'll be, it'll be done. Right there in it, in it. Remember, I'm Van yep. Banter. Right there in it. Get that idea. Madam Shona. We, 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 we don't say his name. <laughs> I just want to check my Instagram name. Uh, Instagram name, yeah, is underscore Life of Shona underscore X. And from there, you find other links and shit. So, mm-hmm. you know, follow and all that shit. Like, comment. Oh, yes, yeah, me. <laughs> um yes so my instagram is http dot jixon also that's my tiktok as well you might find me there if you understand Blacks. yeah mr um, mr famous tiktok <laughs> I'm out famous. here doing the chewing and that chewing gum. Um, it's also, the, it's, it was the one about the apologies. Like, oh my god, man. Like, um, basically, I, I just don't think you can do that. You know, I was like Jason. Um, what, what's, Jason. What, what else do I do? Yeah, yeah, Snapchat, isn't it? YouTube and Twitter. My Snapchat is kill underscore E E M. So you for the Snapchat. name. Kill him. Yeah. yeah. Now nah, they can add me on Snapchat, innit? My life is good. Right, cool, so um yeah. Twitter, my Twitter is Jaquan, not Jason. You can find that in my TikTok bio. Yeah. Okay. But, Life. Yeah. Um, follow man on um Insta NK underscore preach. Um, NK. Follow me on um Instagram at NK Grams and also big up the man about rest things. Follow rest things podcast. Done on. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe okay. on the rare podcast. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcast from. It's been the rare podcast. We are signing out. Bow. Bye. Bye. In a bit, Bye, yo. Y'all niggas got me hot.